Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Dora and this is my October update to my Panda palette. So I'm going to show you a picture of what my main palette looked like last month. And this is the Makeup Revolution Kombucha Kiss palette. I've been trying to work on finishing a couple of the shadows in here. For example, sizzling that orangey shimmery shade second column third row and then i also wanted to consistently continue to use chaos and light up so chaos is in the left top corner and light up is just underneath that it's an inner corner highlight type shade and then i also had the goal of trying to hit one more pan in one of the shades specifically the three at the bottom and maybe even scorching i wasn't quite sure yet which one and here is what my palette is looking like today I don't know if you can see it, but I have hit one more pan. <laughs> Woohoo! In the dark side, so in this brown matte shade here. This took me a total of 40 uses to hit pan. And while it was the beginning of the project, up until recently actually, I've only really been wearing this maybe just a tiny bit on my lower lash line or just a tiny amount again on my outer V. I've recently been using this as a sort of gradient matte look. Uh, as like the darkest shade sort of closest to my lash line and then using blazing or another shade very similar to this one that's in my pan those eyeshadows as my middle shade and then mainly using spice as my top shade crease shade it's been so much fun experimenting with like a different way of applying my eyeshadows again i'm sorry about the lighting today it's it's really dark even though the sun hasn't set yet so i've had to turn the light on in this room i've got my ring light on is what we're gonna go always but i'll definitely take some close-ups of this palette in daylight tomorrow when it's hopefully a little bit brighter i don't think there's gonna be any sunshine for the rest of the week mm. all right let's go through these shades one by one starting off with the shade chaos here i have used that shade 28 times since the last update and again i will show you total numbers of where i'm at with all of these shades within this project at the end of the section before we move into my next palette. So I think I'm definitely getting somewhere with that one. I have only actually, yeah, exclusively been wearing that as a setting powder under my eyes and that works really well. And this is the brush that I'm using. So, you know, it's quite small and I just swirl it around and apply it that way. It's still working because it's very powdery, so I'm going to continue to do that, hopefully until it's done. If not, I might crush it up or I might even repress it. We shall see. Energy, this next shade here, I've got six uses on. Spice, I have got four uses on, so maybe there's only a tiny little bit of pan expansion. Charcoal, I've managed to use seven times which is great. I think that's probably the most amount of uses in one month so far. And that's mainly because in that matte dark eye look that I was talking about, the gradient one, I then went in with an angled brush to sort of do a tiny little bit of a liner. So that's how I managed to do some uses. Light up this inner corner highlight shade, 29 uses. Heat I have completely ignored. Passion, I have used once. Fiery, I have also used once. Blazing, I've used twice. Sizzling, I am so close on that. I've used five times. Rebel, I've used four times. I think once Chaos is done, I'm gonna move on to Rebel here for my setting powder. Hopefully it'll work. Scorching, I've only used once. Heating up, I've used three times. Flames, I haven't used. All or nothing, I've used once. And the dark side, I have used 18 times since the last update. All right, let's set some goals for next time. I'm gonna try and finish off Chaos and Sizzling. And then I'm gonna also focus a lot on flames and all or nothing. And then also a little bit on heating up. But I have another gold shimmer shade in my pan those eyeshadows right now. So once I've hit pan on that, I'm going to go into this one and see how much damage I can do. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Moving on to my side palette, this is Maybelline The Blush Nudes. It definitely looks a bit different to what it looked like last month, but here's a picture of what it looked like in my last update. And the only goals I set for myself was to try and work on finishing shades number one and shade number seven. So both of the left hand side shades. And here is where I'm at with this palette right now. So as you can see, I haven't finished any shades yet here either. But I think I'm getting really quite close on that one. No side pan just yet, but not too far off from it. You might also notice that there is one shade missing and that's this one here. This fell out. So sadly, I dropped my palette. I'm a little bit upset because it was quite a pretty shade. I loved using this on my outer corner. But since this is a palette that I've been working on for so long. So before I started my Panda palette this year, this was my focus palette in Panda's eyeshadows of 2022. So it's got to go at one point, you know. But let's go through the uses of each of these shades. This first shade here, that white satiny shade, I have used 26 times. The second shade I have used three times. This shade I completely ignored. This shade here I've used three times and this shade I have used four times and then the dark sort of shimmery dark plum shade I've used once before I smashed it. So here we go. I'm now going to insert the total numbers again within this project up until today. Let's look at some goals again for next time. I'm going to try also to work on finishing this shade here. And aside from that, I think I'm just going to see how I feel. If I do manage to have an empty in the Kombucha Kiss palette, I'm thinking about frankening everything I've got left in here, crushing it up, mixing it together, and then repressing it into my Kombucha Kiss palette. That's what I'm thinking. And I recently bought some rubbing alcohol, which we here in the UK we call surgical spirit. I think I'm just going to give repressing another chance. Yeah, so that could be quite exciting. And then I can at least declutter the actual physical palette and still somewhat work on the remaining shades. Yeah. All right. So that's it for me. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.